Hello everyone, Reza here. We are going to pick up where we left off in the previous video and talk about basic introductory tools in XGen in Autodesk Maya. So the focus of this video is to talk about creating a hairstyle using tube grooms. Now tube shape polygon meshes are extremely useful for us to create simple and quick hair grooms. Sometimes you would like to create guides not from scratch but from a surface and this tool allows us to create just that. Now um, I have a simple profile and I have a simple path. I can just select the profile, shift select the path, and then go to surface and extrude. Obviously, if you're using Maya 2022, then you can use Swoop Mesh Tool. We have a tutorial on that, so make sure to check it out. I have Maya 2020 right now and using that version instead. So um, you need to make sure that that tube has got open ends here and here. And then with that, you can just simply select the model, go to create new description, and I'm going to call this tube description and tube collection, just to, for the simplicity sake. Leave everything else as default. The only thing that I always change, at least in this series of tutorials, is placing and shaping guides selected instead of using expressions. And I'm gonna go create. Now, so far, nothing happens. We know that because um, XGen expect us to just uh, give it normal, usual guides, right? But we are not going to do that. We are going to use this button here, Tube Groom, instead. Now, this allows us to construct guides from the given geometry. You can have more than one geometry. You can actually create hair clumps on the character and just feed them into this tubes checkbox using this little icon here. So with the model selected, I'm going to click once and it drops it in. Obviously it's preferred if we were to name this. Um, I didn't, but please you do. Now with that, I'm just gonna hit generate. And something really cool happens. If I just hide the hair, you can see for each edge loop, now we have a guide. I can even select the geometry and press H and look at that. Constructing this from scratch can take a while. You know, you need to create and then rebuild and then create and rebuild and use sculpt tool to shape and make sure they follow the same silhouette. But if you really want to follow a geometry, I would suggest this method um, because you save tons of time. Now, if I just create or make the XGen uh, hair visible, you can see they're not really following the path. And this is nothing more than just the uh, resolution issue. So if I go to Maya CV count and just increase that CV count to something like, I don't know, 25, you can see now they're starting to follow the hair. Another option that I do try is in preview output spline segment. I will increase that to something like three. It's not gonna make changes here, but it will make the result much smoother. Obviously, I can increase the density a little bit, and that gives me a good starting point, um, basically, to begin with. Then I will be adding modifiers, so on and so forth, to tweak the hair. So I would call this a very useful method in order to construct guides out of a geometry. All right, let's end the session right here. And in the next video, we are going to continue with our XGen 101 video series. And I will explore how to produce maps for our key attributes. See you guys soon.